I am so excited to share our new science plan with you guys. We have just, I just haven't really felt great about science, to be honest. Um, you know, I feel like history has a really good rhythm and we know what we like and we know how to do it. And science just always feels funky. Um, honestly, it's a subject that I just don't really feel like doing all the time. Um, last semester, we worked through Apologia Zoology 1, I believe it was, and it was great. But um, ultimately, I just didn't want to do it again. A um, couple quick reasons. Number one, the lessons are really long, um, and I couldn't figure out a way to sit through them without just being bored. I'm sorry to say it, but that's how it feels. Um, we tried the audiobook too, and that just didn't work. And also, um, it just felt like a really long time to study one topic. So um, we mixed it up. We mixed it up with library books and that helped, but um, I don't know, I just wanted something different. So we started uh, after Christmas, we started with just doing kind of like an interest led thing. They were doing their own thing. I was like, oh, this is great. The first week was wonderful. I'm like, this is gonna be awesome. I don't have to do anything. They were doing so much. Um, and then after that, it just was like kind of, it just died out. So now I have looked at all the sciences and I am so excited to share what we're using. So this is called Science in the Beginning and it is by Berean Builders. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, but I love it and I think it's really gonna be a good fit for a couple of reasons. The first is that the lessons are short. The amount that you have to read can be done quickly. And I like that. Um, especially because I experienced the long lessons before. Second, it's made for your, it says K to seven, uh, but your whole, my whole family can do it together. So that is super exciting. The third is there is a hands-on activity to do with every single lesson. And that's amazing. You know your kids, they don't wanna read the science books, they wanna do the science experiments. And I honestly, some of these are experimenting, but most of them are just like hands on, like living out what they're trying to teach you. You know, it's like put a flashlight and a mirror together. It's not that big of a deal to get that done, but the kids are gonna think it's just amazing. As I look through each activity that comes with the lessons, it feels so doable um, and just a great way to experience science. I, I think my kids are gonna love it. I hope they love it. I, I hope I love it. Um, so this is not a review. I have no idea how this is gonna go. We're gonna try it out for the next while and I will maybe give you an update on how it is. So how about I show you inside the book so you can um, see what it's like. Okay, so this is science in the beginning and the science actually follows kind of like a time, a history timeline. So the next book is I think science in the ancient world and then the book after that, I can't remember, honestly, but there's one, Science in the Industrial Age. Um, so the, it, it goes by a timeline in history. Um, this one in particular focuses on the seven days of creation. So it will, there's 15 lessons per day, but 11, uh, 12 lessons are here, and these are challenge lessons. And he tells you um, how to do it. He says you can do a lesson every other day. I'm reading this right here. Or you can do two lessons a week and he shows you how to balance that out. So if you pause the video, you can see um, the different lessons. But there's the first day, the second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, and then the seventh day. And then there's a glossary in the back and an index. So let's look at a lesson. We're in the first day of creation. Here's lesson one. Um, this is what you're reading to the kids. This is the simple hands-on uh, activity. You can see this is just stuff around your house. And then you read that as well. Then at the end of each lesson, there is a review section. So you can ask these questions with your kids. And then there's an older student option and an oldest student option. And I'll just flip you another lesson so you can see too. Here's another one. Here's the activity you're gonna do. And that's what you're reading. At the end of every lesson, there's this lesson review. So you can see how short these lessons are. 
So compared to the apology lessons, this is nothing. Um, I'm going to try and do a lesson a day. I haven't decided if I'm going to do it, how many days I'm going to do it. I'm going to try three, but I'm, I'm going to adjust if I need to. Um, and also we do history three days a week too. So it, I might just kind of pair it with that. There is the, the review lessons at the end. He kind of tells you how to set up a notebook to go along with that. And I'm going to kind of play with that as well. I don't know exactly if I'll do it right how he says it, because I like to kind of do my own thing. Um, but I'm definitely going to record something, some type of narration, maybe draw a picture. I don't know, but I'm working on it. And I'm probably just going to try a couple things out and see what works the best. Okay, so that's pretty much, much the gist. Um, I, the reason I picked this is because it felt doable. Um, it feels like I can accomplish it. Whereas a lot of times when you look at a science, it just gets overwhelming or the experiment's too intense or the lesson's too long or I don't know. And, and what's great is you're not like you're learning all kinds of different things, all kinds of different things. Every day is, is kind of like a different little topic, but it's all related in, in some way in this case by creation. So I'm so excited. Um, why don't I put a link to their website so you can kind of check out the other books that they offer. Um, but if you do have questions, you can ask me, let me know. Otherwise, I'll give you an update on how it goes.